it's happening, my lovely people. Peter Obi speaks very emotionally, you know, on some of the things that have happened. And the real reason is approaching the courts. Aisha Yusuf opens up. I mean, these are days where people's mandates can be taken right before their eyes. And the judiciary, um, the present administration and government feel it is okay for you to just keep quiet and go with the flow. That it's okay, um, you know, like they say, it's not your turn. Yes, you have done well, but wait for your turn. Excuse me. We thought it's democracy, a government for the people, where the people determine what happens. It doesn't feel very much like that, does it? So Peter Obi, Aisha Yusuf are revealing to us the real reason. Yes, Peter Obi is approaching the courts. I mean, because, I mean, with the whole thing that has happen happened, a lot of Peter Obi supporters feel that, you know, we deserve more. You know, we deserve more. What has gone on is totally and completely unnecessary. And so we deserve more. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details as we understand in total the real reason Peter Obi is approaching the courts. The real reason Peter Obi is approaching the courts, Aisha Yusuf opens up. A top campaigner of the Peter Obi and Labour Party personality Aisha Yusuf on Saturday said the party is not overly concerned about the electronic transmission of res electronic results because it is aware that it is not compulsory. Politics Nigeria reported that Aisha Yusuf, who said, however, said the Labour Party will approach the court to interrogate the collection of the actual revolts of the people which is said is man it which is said is mandatory and we need to understand what the real numbers were that is the truth this result was collected manually and it could be tempered with when truth was not being dispensed the truth about the collation the actual votes of the people is is mandatory that we understand what happened and what we are asking for is transparency. Is it too much to ask? The claim that electronic transmission of results is not compulsory is true, but collating the actual results of the people is mandatory. And that is what we are asking for. Aisha Yusuf wrote on a verified Twitter handle. Because INEC is trying to change to say it is not compulsory. People are saying they must transmit results. It is not compulsory. The news that Peter Obi Dante Ahmed, presidential campaign council, said it has collated enough evidence to prove that the Labour Party won the last week presidential election in Nigeria. The Independent National Electronic, Electronic Com Commission, INEC, has declared Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the Renault Progressive Congress, APC, as the president-elect. Re responding to the APC, we said on Friday that there is no law making it mandatory for electronic body to transmit electronic results electronically. You, Aisha Yusuf lamented that votes at many votes that many people actually counted the unity across the Nigeria were allegedly up, up, overturned against the Labour Party for their own for their own candidates so this is what has happened and then um, aisha yusuf um our brother has come out to say that something went wrong in case you are not aware inex sounds very defensive yes inex sounds really truly sincerely def defensive inex is behaving as if they are fighting the labor party sorry to say labor party is saying okay you say no 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 it's not compulsory so don't come on that angle it, to me, I feel like there is there was a set mind with regards to the result people expected to see. I mean, talking about INEC, there was a set mind, you know, on that regards. And as soon as um, they got, they were able to go ahead and just pronounce the person they feel. I, I think they, 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 they are done and they feel, okay, this is it. You know, so it is It is a very, very serious matter. And um, Aisha Yusuf said, we're not coming to court to say, okay, why didn't you transmit the results electronically? Which would have been the ideal way 
so that we don't have all these questions. Peradventure, Peter Obi did not win and INEC has transmitted it live and we saw that, okay, he did not win. I don't think anybody would have been fighting or saying we are going to court. I don't personally think so. But when you did not transmit it, there seemed to be some form of shady part you are trying to hide. I don't understand what you expect the people. If you have transmitted it and as it was being uh, filled at every point, it was being transmitted and the result came out that Peter Obi did not have enough number. He will go home and appreciate those that voted for him, wait for another time and try harder to convince more people. I don't think there would have been any issue or problem of saying that there was, there was my practices. But you are trying now to defend, to say, oh, I, it was not compulsory. So nobody should bother us. Excuse me. Are you fighting with the people? I thought you were a body that was supposed to transmit results. But it seemed very much like you, 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 have, your, you have your guards up, your battle ready. That's, very, that's how much he feels. Like your guards are up and your battle ready. You know, that's how he feels, to be quite candid. That's how he feels. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people. Don't forget that, you know, it is important that we all arise and ensure that we do things decently and in order, okay, to bring this country out of the present predicament. You know, a lot of persons are really concerned about the result of the last election. A lot of people are not really happy. Do you know people flew into Nigeria for this very, yes, Nigerians and diaspora that, you know, had their PVC and all that. They came in to vote to show that, you know, we really want to change. And so when the results, you know, showed otherwise, and it showed like INEC was so much in a haste to pronounce the, the winner of the result, even without the result collation being completed, it feels very, it feels very dodgy that there was more to it. You know, it feels very much, feels very strongly that there was more to it. So what do you expect from the people to just have a laugh with you and say, yeah, I neck you did well, well done. Excuse me, nobody will smile that, that smile. That smile is a very expensive one. It's a very, very expensive one, you know. So it is what it is. You have, dis you have distorted the trust of the people. I don't know what else you're expecting, that they should go ahead and give you a, a, a clap offering or celebration that you did well. It's not, it's not right, okay? It's not right. Anyway, my lovely people, this is exactly what is going on now. And it is high time we begin to, you know, ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible and bring Nigeria back on track. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Let's speak out against everything wrong. Bye-bye.